Hello everybody, my name is Lia Malkov and you are on Astrobeth. Astrobeth is my channel uh, about my astrophotography journey. I am an amateur astrophotographer and astronomer. And uh, today I am at home, not at uh, my Astrobeth, uh, that is <laughs> uh, the roof of my bath outside of the city at my summer cottage. But uh, I'm at home because I plan to show you uh, the new device I purchased last month. It is a, a device that uh, will uh, give me less uh, magnification that my, than my Newtonian telescope that has 1000 uh, millimeter focal length. Uh, so I'm getting uh, nearer and nearer to the box itself. Uh, certainly it was delivered in a card box. And uh, this case uh, well, is well made and uh, it has uh, locks uh, here and there. And uh, uh, so uh, let's continue <laughs> our talk about the focal length and uh, the magnification. I'm absolutely sure <laughs> that every astronomer, when somebody uh, who is not uh, in this hobby and uh, in this maybe profession, uh, sees a, a man with a telescope, uh, when uh, somebody sees a man with a telescope, he asks uh, what is the magnification of this telescope? <laughs> Last week uh, I participated in uh, the night of uh, the pavement astronomy and uh, I was in the center of the city with my Newtonian uh, telescope and on my LXD uh, 75 visual, uh, visual mount uh, for visual uh, observations of the sky and uh, I I got uh, this question uh, three or four times there were plenty of people and uh, uh, they were in a queue and they <laughs> looked in the eyepiece uh, and asked what is the magnification the main uh, characteristic is the aperture it is uh, uh, the diameter of uh, the mirror when we speak about Newtonian, te Newtonian uh, telescopes and other reflectors, reflectors and cathedrics. Uh, uh, and uh, it is uh, the diameter of uh, a lens when we speak about uh, uh, refractor uh, telescopes. So, this is a refracted telescope and uh, you know it from the uh, caption of this video so let's open the box so uh, what we can see in the package it is certainly uh, some documents uh, manual the manual we do not read manuals <laughs> we are Russian <laughs> we do not read manuals so uh, the telescope itself uh, uh, the fact is that uh, it is not the first time I opened this box. That is why I have certain additional uh, uh, additional uh, devices and uh, goods here. So I'll put them aside and uh, then we'll uh, talk about them. So the telescope itself. Couple of adapters. And I also have purchased a reducer for it, for this uh, telescope. So uh, this is a refracted telescope. It is a quintuplet astrograph. It is made of uh, Petzval uh, scheme. It has five lenses inside. It is an apachromat. Uh, telescope uh, and uh, it uh, has a built-in field flattener. Its focal length is uh, 500 uh, millimeters and uh, its aperture is 90 millimeters. The focal ratio is uh, 5.6 and uh, it is about the same uh, focal ratio as my Newtonian telescope has. 
a reducer and uh, can be uh, purchased. And I did that. The reducer is a uh, 0 0.7 ratio uh, optical device. It uh, makes uh, the focal ratio of about uh, 3.9 and uh, the focal length uh, of uh, 350 millimeters out of this uh, telescope. So, uh, this uh, telescope has a dew shield that can be fixed the following way. It has a handle, it is made of aluminium and uh, Losmandi uh, basement, Losmandi dovetail. It is suitable uh, for, for example, for my Gem uh, uh, 45. EC, uh, Arctron mount, and uh, all other mounts that uh, support this type of dovetails. And uh, one can purchase uh, Vixen type uh, dovetail separately. Uh, it has a two speed, uh, two speed focuser. And uh, I have already uh, connected uh, the plate uh, for the electronic focuser made by uh, ZWO. Here it is. It is a well-known uh, device. And uh, it will be attached uh, the following way here. And I'll use it on my astro photo sessions. The design of the tube uh, is uh, well known, I think, if you have watched uh, certain videos about ESCA uh, uh, 400 and uh, 300 and uh, maybe 600. Uh, there is a line of these devices uh, manufactured by the Sharpstar company. And uh, ASCA is, uh, I think it is a upper middle class uh, telescopes. There is also a field rotator. So you may frame uh, the um, objects in, rotate the objects in the frame. And uh, also, uh, there is a pack of uh, rings from uh, 68, 68, 52, and, and uh, 48. It is an interesting thing that uh, this adapter, this ring, has a built-in possibility to connect a filter inside, 2-inch filter. Uh, the focal reducer uh, should be connected here. This is, in fact, for visual, uh, for visual uh, diagonal uh, mirror. And this is an adapter for reducer. The reduce itself just looks wonderful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> the quality of glass is really high. One more ask question about the uh, back focus of this telescope. There is no answer because there is no problem with back focus at all. 
everything is solved uh, with the focus itself. So no matter what back focus you need, you'll find it without any extra efforts. So one can attach uh, full frame sensor camera here if he wants and uh, it uh, promises no vignetting issues. <sighs> I have also purchased a button of mask uh, for this aperture. It is also well made and uh, it just suits nicely. And a uh, uh, dew heater for the main lens. Uh, because I plan to do uh, astrophoto sessions outside of the city, uh, maybe in autumn and uh, in spring, and that is why, uh, just to avoid uh, the dew, uh, one should use uh, such device that is connected to the standard uh, AC power uh, 12 uh, volts. Again, this uh, telescope hasn't seen uh, any light uh, outside of the house. Uh, that's why I have no images. But still, now you know uh, what it looks like and uh, what it is made of and uh, what parameters it has.